Hey guys, this is Jerry, welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at the 2024 updated version of the Kia Picanto. This with the vehicle is the GT line train, so the higher spec considered. Today we're just having a quick look around and I'll do a POV point of the test drive to show you how the vehicle like and let you know my impression about this vehicle. From outside, it's got a very sharp design in the front with all the contrast, black trims, black trim over here, four LED headlights that come with the Kia GT line. It just looks way more aggressive than the previous generation or the previous facelift version. On this particular GT line, we have the 16 inch alloys with the black trim again underneath, so a little bit more contrast with silver bars, everything. This is definitely a really, really good looking car. And from the back, it's still crazily designed as well. Diffuser type of a sort of rear cover and fog lights plus the standard LED tail lights. Very aggressive looking. Opening the door, we have about just over 220 liters of boot space. You can always drop the seats down though. Once the seats are down, just creates about 1,010 liters of total volume. The seats at the back is going to be quite squishy, quite tight, so I can fit in, but it's not the most comfortable. The sitting position is going to be really high. The legroom is very limited. This is my sitting position, and I'm about 178 centimeters. Only one USB charging, no armrest, things like that. Very simple. Keyless entry are standard on the Kia Picanto GT line. When we have a seat, so this has the leather finish inside and outside. Obviously, these are just synthetic leather. The design itself is quite supportive, quite comfortable. Push button start. So in terms of the look, definitely a few more upgrades than the previous generation. We have leather wrapped steering with the white stations around the steering and a 8 inch touch, touch display plus reverse camera, CarPlay, Android Auto, everything. In the center, we have a just 4.2 inch display, so digital dashboard, finally. We have all the information about driving assistance or setting up whatever you like on this particular vehicle. Now it's good to go, let's go for a drive to see how it goes. Right from the start, you can feel this is a very small motor, of course. 1.25 liter for the petrol motor, natural aspirate, produces just over 60 kilowatts of power and 120 something newton meters. So very limited power from the drivetrain, but this is the small car. The chassis is small, the weight is small. That means still gonna be achieving really good, you know, driving dynamics on this particular small vehicle and uh, wheelbase and wheelbase on this vehicle is just only 2.4 meters and the whole vehicle length is just under 3.6 meters so it's a very very small car for city driving absolutely fine combining with the small motor it's got a four speed automatic gearbox so works okay you can feel the gearbox is um, growing when you start driving you can notice it but it's not terrible in any way Let's try the small acceleration over here. Yeah, you can feel the, the roaring on it. You can feel the noise. Obviously, it's trying to work behind you. Overall, the visibility is really, really good. Um, the seating position is quite lifted. So that means I can see majority of the vehicle in front of us. The steering itself is quite low on the compared to other, other particular vehicle. So I can find my best seating position. Rear windscreen rear mirror is all good to size and very barely any you know blind spot overall let's try to set it up and part of the thing I really like is about handling being a very small car very small chassis that means the handling itself very responsive so it's powered at the front two-wheel drive that means the steering and torque very straightforward you can see how easy it's listening to you, it's directing you. There's no hesitation, it's not like a big, big, chunky car that's going to flop around around the corner, things like that. 
these is very good on handling and it's a lot of fun Unfortunately, on the noise level, this is going to be a little bit more noisy compared to uh, you know any premium cars you see on the Kia lineup due to the small chassis, small body size the noise cancellation is not going to be great we are driving on a very very rough seal in around Pukui in Auckland you can tell the the noise level is on the high level for sure The brake itself is responsive, so not bad at all. Yeah, picking up struggles a little bit on the first touch. Then it's quite smooth overall. I don't feel the big sort of transmission change, but I, I can definitely hear the engines working. Again, if you drive around the city, you don't need to accelerate like that, which makes it totally fun. We have no one behind us. Let's quickly test the acceleration from this line. There's no spot mode on this vehicle, so I'm just gonna go off the line. So let's do 20 and foot all the way down. There we go. Now we can feel the gear change. It's all right. Now on the suspension side, this is okay on the suspension level it's not as soft as some of the SUVs you find on the market these days things like Kia Stonic and Kia Sport Touch will do a little bit better on the suspension but by no means this is a bad vehicle on suspension on this particular rough seal you can feel the you know the the bumpier situation uh, we're facing right now it's not terrible Again, while we are doing a bumpy ride, the handling itself is really playful, like it's joyful. Suddenly, after driving so many huge cars and big cars, it's actually really, really fun to drive a small car like this. It surprises you for sure, it's definitely surprises you. And I'd imagine the turning circle on this will be very, very small, so that means you are not going to struggle with three-point turns or u-turns anything like that handling is totally fine we can push on the corner this one since we have tried yeah stay on the ground not bad you can feel a little bit body roll on the last one as i did push a little bit harder than some other cars now this one is much better that interesting obviously most people's driving cases for something like this will be around town so we're gonna go hit that soon uh, let's see how it goes around the roundabout and other places all right we are finally into the town center so let's see how it goes around town instead of on the motorway obviously as we mentioned these car will but only for people who drive around town, short trips, things like that. Yeah, you can feel it's much more comfortable right now compared to what we had on the country road. This road service is still very, very rough, as you can imagine. But yeah, the noise level is much, much better right now compared to the country road. Turning around here is so effortless, being on such a small car, it's so easy to turn, it's so easy to go around corners if you need to. You definitely don't struggle at all around these places. And 
picking up. Still not bad, 1.25 liter. It's okay for daily drive. It'll struggle for sure if you are comparing these to a sporty vehicle, sporty hatchback. But for just a daily drive around town, this is totally fine. Or in another way, acceptable. handling really good I actually enjoy the handling of this although the transmission or engines you know powerless as you could imagine nice all right now let's do do a u-turn just to see how it's like for the short turning circle we have no one behind us Nearly one turn, but not yet. There we go. On a small road like this, this is acceptable. Alright, we're nearly done. Last part will be the pricing of this car. So in New Zealand, this vehicle is just over $24,000 plus ORC. If you're looking to purchase one, do not forget to contact us at Abit Pukoi. You can find the other description down below. As always, if you're interested in any other videos like this, test driving, do not forget to subscribe and like. That would be really helpful for the channel. As always, I will see you next video. Thank you very much.